We are back here at Franz's Tavern in Lower Manhattan, and the tavern keeper, Robert Norton, is here with me now. I just want to say thank you very much for allowing us to use your establishment as a backdrop for our holiday show. Oh, you're welcome indeed. During the break, we were talking about all the history associated with this tavern, and it's really incredible. I want you to stick around for the next story. It's very interesting. It's about a young man with quite a personal agenda. On that agenda are plans for becoming world famous. Mm -hmm. And you know, after you meet him, you'll see that that is not exactly a pipe dream. Meet Leland Hardy. Here, he is trying to punch his way to fame and fortune. And this is Leland Hardy, the stockbroker, punching out his computer for clients of Bear Stearns and Company. But it doesn't end there. Here, he is acting his way into the world of the rich and famous. By now it is clear that this is a very ambitious young man, excelling in three different careers. But what you're probably wondering is, what makes this guy tick? I just try to do the best I possibly can in whatever it is that I'm undertaking. Uh, I've luckily had role models right in my own immediate family. I have, unfortunately, a, a late brother, Gilbert, who died in a tragic scuba diving accident recently. But he was an attorney, went to Yale Law School. My sister's a physician, I have another brother who's a business consultant, my parents. Uh, my mother didn't have an opportunity to go to college, but she was a registered nurse, and my father did go to college. He's a, a business manager for housing projects in Philadelphia. Uh, so I was fortunate to have that. His family work ethic pushed him beyond college, earning an MBA from the prestigious Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania and a master's degree in international studies, but there's more. He also speaks five languages, including Chinese. When I graduated, I was involved in a program called the Lauder Institute at the Wharton School of Business, where I had to go to China and study at the Beijing Foreign Language Institute. The ability to speak Chinese opened up a new world to him, including the chance to meet his boxing idol. Muhammad Ali was looking for a, a black interpreter of Chinese for his upcoming uh, uh, goodwill mission to China and uh, once I heard about that and he heard about me it was a natural uh, a natural fit and I ended up uh, traveling with Muhammad very very good friends uh, ever since and I've traveled all over the country with him. Well you know Ali is the greatest of all times there's no question about that anyone who disputes that uh, I think they need to go and, and get a CAT scan. <laughs> yeah, I actually wear the same boots that uh, not his very own boots but the same exact style of boots that he wore in many of his battles. So I have to believe that uh, that's going to carry me. Since college, Leland has taken boxing seriously. In 1983, he won Pennsylvania's heavyweight Golden Glove Championship. And his impressive win over Ike Padilla at Madison Square Garden is so far considered fight of the year. It earned him his trainer's respect and admiration. And that was a war. Padilla knocked him down, he knocked Padilla down, Padilla knocked him down, he knocked Padilla down. And you, you have to see it, they went crazy to people. I believe it was the third round, knocked Padilla out with a, a classic, beautiful right hand uppercut punch, uh, a punch that, I tell you the truth, no matter who he hit, and I won't exclude anyone with that punch, they'd have been in a world of trouble. So I surely didn't fault Padilla when he didn't get up. I was glad he didn't, but I, I surely didn't fault him about it. Well, you know, when you climb in that ring and you look across before the opening bell, you see another 200-pound man who's trained so diligently, and his whole mission is to get you out of there. Anytime that thing can be over with, you just say, oh, my goodness. Thank God this thing is over. You know, and a lot of people you meet like Leland that have done the things that he's done. Um, he walked, he came into my office about six months ago and says, I want a job as a broker. And I explained to him that we don't hire trainees. Most of our brokers that we hire are, have a high level of experience from other firms. And he says, I'm the most interesting guy you've ever met before. And I said, well, talk is cheap, you know, let's talk about it. But Leland backs up his talk with action. He's proving himself in the world of business, and his acting career is taking off with commercials and an upcoming minor role with Harrison Ford in Presumed Innocent. So, how does he on, do baby. it all? 
Hey, I get up uh, at about six o'clock when I go out and do my road work. I probably run about three and a half, four miles a day. Sometimes it's three. I run with my dog, and that keeps me active. Come back. I come in here to Bear Stearns uh, and uh, take care of business, and then uh, I leave here, go straight to the gymnasium at the gym every night from about 5:30 until 8 o'clock at Gleason's Gymnasium over in Brooklyn Heights. If I have an audition, I shoot out at lunchtime right here in Midtown. So I try to just fit it all in. I enjoy the things that I'm doing, so I uh, just try to make, make everything click. There isn't enough time to tell you all that he's involved in, but I will tell you that in spite of it all, Leland finds time to help others. He visits all sorts of schools to inspire young people, and he says that helping others is the underlying goal of his ambition. You have to realize I spent considerable time with Muhammad Ali and uh, to see the adulation that he receives no matter where he goes, no matter what the situation, and how gracious he is, always making time for other people. You know, he has a saying that uh, uh, service to others is the rent you pay for a room in heaven. And uh, uh, I'm a God-fearing man. I hope and pray that uh, I end up uh, seated at the right hand of the Father someday. And uh, my service to others is hopefully the rent that I'm paying now. Leland plans to make a name for himself in the boxing world, but don't be the least bit surprised if you also see him on the silver screen. You see he has his fingers crossed for a major role in Rocky V. Still ahead on New York Views, family